Ye, 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 yip and yale. Hi, it's Luna aka your local kobold. Hello, hello. Sorry for the delayed start. Uh, I'm a dumbass and I forgot to hang up my washing when it was done. I was like, oh shit, I've got like five minutes before I go live. I can quickly do it, right? I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to be playing some more Anotar today. Uh, getting my hand tracking pull on. I'm running a bit late at the moment. <laughs> it's fine. Also, hello Dara Riddle, hello TD Night Gaming, and hello Kesha, congratulations on officially being first and thank you for your wisdom. Hello, hello. Ye yippin yale. Ads cannot hear the cobble, heck. Ads ends in like 10 seconds, fine. So, Ashley's a What were we doing last time? I should probably look at the quest list. Also, welcome back from Ad Hell. Um, I was just apologising for being late because I uh, forgot to hang up my washing and I had to quickly do it before I went live. I was like, I've got five minutes, I could do it in five minutes. No, I could not do it in five minutes. Uh, <laughs> which is why I didn't skip the... Not skip, uh, skip, yeah, no, pause? 
snooze. I didn't snooze the advert because I wasn't around to do that. <laughs> I'm doing okay. There's an update to Reforge. They finally released the uh, like the sword and spear combo. The new person looks new. A BB orientated deck. Before Shop is a biggie, oh jeez. <laughs> Biggie Beaver. Absolutely large, if you will. Yes, solid. Let's start off with like uh, fighting this person with a card game, because they weren't here before. I'm curious how a BB deck uh, works, because I haven't really seen BB yet. Okay, so. Oh, that's unfortunate. I've actually got a really bad hand for... No, I don't want to surrender. We've got a bad hand for starting, but we've got a great hand for attacking, but it's nothing to attack. So I'm going to wait for them to play something and then I'm going to start. We're going to play this to sap one energy from them to kill them. Uh, we're then going to buff you for some more HP. Fine. Oh, you fucking... <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Bits of bronze. Heck yes. I don't know if this music like, really fits having a rock rating. <laughs> uh, see images... No, that's a bismuth crystal. That's also a bismuth crystal. That's a bismuth crystal encased inside of a steampunk gear uh, network made of bismuth bronze. Okay, that's fucking cool. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, why is a good picture of bismuth bronze? Why are they all like super low resolution? Yeah, this sort of uh, is kind of crap. Oh, I'm trying to find like a good image of uh, bismuth bronze. Bet you can find one on the Dwarf Fortress wiki, probably. Uh, either that or like the uh, Terra Firm. Speaking of Terra Firma Craft, I just found the Bismuth Bronzing from Terra Firma Craft. <laughs> and it's a better resolution than most of the stuff here. Is that a fucking boob made out of Bismuth Bronze? Um, that's Bismuth, Bismuth Brass. It's technically close, but not what we're looking for. There we go, this'll do. That'll have to do. I, I found something okay. Um, <laughs> didn't expect it to be so difficult to find a picture of bismuth bronze. Yeah, here's some bismuth bronze ingots seen from the front, like a cylinder, like cutaway sort of thing. Uh, so bismuth. Uh, it's honestly like I imagine this being like on the level of some kind of like a uh, taffy for cobbles, like the sheer like uh. Uh, what do you call it, like rigidity of this metal and the uh, alloy. And I feel like if you bite into it, like uh, something that can actually chew through rock and stuff, it's just gonna stretch <laughs> and be difficult to chew through. However, probably very tasty given the fact that it's usually got copper and tin uh, components, which are good for cobbles, and the uh, bismuth, which is a, let's say, a treat thing. And you shouldn't be eating it constantly, but <laughs> it's a heavy metal, so lots of calories in that. I'm probably gonna give this a uh, like a I could say a B minus. It's a very good metal. Lots of interesting applications, and the crystal form of bismuth immediately bumps this up. Even though this can't achieve that crystal formation, I'm still gonna give it to it. <laughs> yeah, bismuth is so cool. Geiger counter ticks at a sedate rate. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, if it ain't radioactive, what's the point in eating it? Okay, let's play a Molen. Get our card draw. On delete, gain nice energy. That's gonna be useful. Okay, they've tripled their energy. And they evolved their thing into a BB. I do have one of those cards. Like, I've got one BB. Uh, I do kind of want to build a deck around it, but it's really hard to do that, actually. Uh, plus one HP. I'll give you plus one HP. Yeah, let's pass now. 
No, I don't want to surrender. I want to... How do I do it? There we go. I want to draw a card. Oh, fuck yes. Okay. This Molin's going to be super strong. Draw on a card as well. Tap on HP. They chose not to... Oh, wait, they, they didn't choose not to use. They can't. That's unfortunate for them. Yeah, because uh, the barrier's currently up. So... The phase of this game for people who don't know, you've got the main phase where you can interact with each other through card effects. You've then got the pre-battle phase which we're currently in where you can't interact with the opponent's field at all, it's completely cut off. And then you go into the battle phase where you can't play any cards. Yeah, the firewall. Also, this isn't the entire game by the way, it's not a card game. There's a card game slapped onto this, it's normally a role-playing game. Who will attack first? Ah, fuck. It's fine. I will happily gain one more native energy. Pass I don't want to surrender, I want to pass a turn. Put that gun away, boy, and find me like a real spray. <laughs> okay, up for phase. Um, that BB is getting terrifyingly strong. Draw another card. Oh. Four native energy to summon. We could probably achieve that. That's going to be a slightly difficult, but we could probably achieve that. We're going to suspect that you've never watched Reboot. Oh, this thing! I've seen. I've seen it once while scrolling past, and I'll be honest, as a kid, the CGI scared me. And it was very, very rarely on TV. So, yeah, no, I, I did not see much of it. Oh God, what were they thinking? CGI, it looks so bad. <laughs> uh, it's like Uncanny Valley. It was the world's first fully 3D CGI show, so they should have waited. <laughs> they should have waited for the tech to be a bit better. And it's Canadian. Yeah, it is Canadian. Who will attack first? Survive just about, that's fine. And we get two damage in. And we win. Because I've now got enough energy to just do this. GG. <laughs> we invented the tech. Okay. Excuse what I said, Ben. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's actually super impressive, Ben. Hey, you pulled some sort of trick on me. Uh, well, take this. It's no use. Take this. BBs? Can I have some BB cards, please? That's some water cards. And another Tanuki. I don't need more Tanukis. I want more BBs. I want these next time. You better be prepared. <laughs> You know, that by pressing your arrows up and down, you can switch your hand in the field. And if you select a card in the field that has a trigger effect, you will activate that effect. I sure didn't know that. The later projects were Transformers Beast Wars, Shadow Raiders War Planets. The improvements were incredible. I remember Shadow Raiders. Yeah, I saw a little bit of this. There was a, uh, I think there was a video game based on this, wasn't there? No, I think of something else. Never mind. I have no idea. I've never seen this before. I think of something similar, but not the same thing. Yeah, let's go grab our daily booster pack from the computer over here and then we will oh i want that acorn the acorn is mine gimme and then we'll go have a look at where we need to go because we need to look at our quest list to figure out what the fuck we're doing because <laughs> i've forgotten uh if i remember correctly we were stuck last time that's not helpful um 
what's in the box? Can I have a BB, please? Please, just a crumb of a BB. Another fucking tanuki. It's a max tanuki, and I don't think I have a full set of those yet, but it's another tanuki. How many max tanukis do I have? I've got five. Never mind, I have a full set. You can't have more than four in your deck. That's annoying. And yeah, we got the one BB. <laughs> like, I would honestly love to make some themed decks, but getting hold of cards in this is so difficult. Head pats. I mean, I could do some fishing for some more cards, because I know that you get cardies in this area. They're just stupid rare. Like, I kind of wish you could target their... Target fish for them, or whatever you want to call it. Also, thank you for the head pat. Cardines. No, cardines. Uh, I'll see if I can fish one up and show you. How do I fish? There we go. Fishing. Fishing is happening. That's a CD fish. Fish. That's another CD fish. Hey, what kind of fish is this? CD? CD nuts. <laughs> Weed. Oh, we got an encounter. CD? We got a- oh, it's a Cardi. Yeah. Uh, I should be over here, actually, so that you can actually see what's happening. But yeah, it's a, a Cardi. 420 Blazer A. <laughs> Smoking some seaweed. Uh, let me unmirror myself. Hold on. There we go. Let me just like update this camera slot. Camera slot was this. Sorry, I should have had this like sorted out beforehand. But I was like, oh geez, I forgot to do it. That's camera two. So camera save. Okay. So I can actually like look at towards you if I'm looking around this way. Hey Vinyan, behave, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is a cardi, and if you defeat them, they have a high chance of dropping booster packs. But that one didn't. I don't know. I, I wish there was like an easier way to get hold of uh, booster packs. Kind of isn't. Oh, free battery. Yeah, the only way to get card packs is by beating people in uh, card battles or getting your two daily packs per day. I just kind of wish I could just buy them. Also, they did in the last update, which is going to be the last expansion of this game. Every update after this is going to be bug fixes because uh, they're now working on a sequel. But uh, the last update they did to this, they added another uh, booster pack. Uh, a new booster pack. I can't remember what it is, but imagine if you had to access a uh, skill to turn a weakened enemy into a card. I've seen a game that did something like that, but I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, um, Digimobs for Minecraft. Uh, there's a Digimon mod pack that- or was it? No, it was Pixelmon. Oh, Final Fantasy VIII as well did it, but uh, Pixelmon, sorry, had a, a camera. You could take pictures of Pokemon. I mean, you could turn them into cards. Uh, although I don't think they ever finished that system. It's still in the game, but they haven't they ever worked on it. Look at my... Where is it? Uh, quest list. Reach for Nexus Terminal. Oh, that's not it. Call the island recruit 25 people. Visit the Snowlands and find Shiny. Can't go to Snowlands just yet. Catch a Philo. I haven't found a Philo. Those Feliosa Raptor with or a Mechasaur with level 13 or higher. Scan all three of the statues. I think we scanned one of them. I know for definite we've seen all three of them, but I can't remember where they are. And there isn't really a good walkthrough for this game yet. 
though I don't know where they are. That's going to be hard to find. Need the skills of a hacker to unlock a service lift in Rain City. Yeah, we found that hacker and they sod it off somewhere. <laughs> so I guess we're still, like, supposed to be doing Rain City quest. Can I fast travel to Rain City? Is that a thing? Yes, I can. Okay. That makes my life so much easier. Yeah, the route to Rain City is ages away. Proposal, parry the world. Just the entire planet, just parry it. I'll take that. Oh, don't worry about me, Mac. I won't interfere with you. By the way, are you going to the surface? You won't be able to the highway to exit the city. There are data blocks everywhere. Warp ribbons still work, though. Hum. the bug people as a concept just having like these uh underground like sewer dwelling people who are just struggling with like this environment being shitty <laughs> okay so this is topside area ish your character sprite is doing weird things that's normal don't worry about it <laughs> uh we're breaking the matrix it's fine um Okay, Nana K has been dealt with. I don't think I've got a Nana K in my party yet. Humbug. They only sell basic gear here, but with correct materials it's possible to craft level 2 or higher gear. Yeah, I keep hearing about the crafting system. I still have had no access to this crafting system. But there is definitely a crafting system in the game. I don't know how to get to it though. <laughs> Where does this go again? Inactive. Never mind, just go anywhere. Being of use here? Nope. Compression is upon us. Will your soul rip stand it? Only if you repent. Okay. Full, full thing, uh, cultist, I guess. We don't have jobs, not because we can't work, but because there's no real jobs to do anymore. The autonomous tech that this world possesses, so there's no need to do anything in order to survive. Limits of wealth are imposed by ones living above. lift go anyway full oh, no it does not how the heck am I supposed to go then oh. I'm wondering if I'm just missing something up here because this is where like progress was before because I had to go and um, into the dive bar and go like talk to a hacker who was there Where's this lift go? Apartments. Oh, I remember this, yeah. Bunch of stuff here. Guy who refuses to let me into the house. There's this chute that takes you somewhere kind of useless. Uh, I don't remember exactly where it was, but I remember not being impressed with where I went. AI system was help us. Yeah, that I've already read through that. Uh, bed can't be interacted with. Oh, out here? I don't remember much about this place. Empty. Nope, never mind, there's nothing here. Absolutely useless. It was just a chest, and we've already had the chest. really stumped like 
last time I played this, uh, like last week or the week before, uh, we made some progress, but then I just immediately went to like a roadblock again. It's just like I can't figure out where to go, and the game isn't really giving me direction or any information of how to progress. Also, the guests and no one's willing to help you. There's one hacker that might be interested in the press, but he doesn't have a frequent place. Nowadays, he doesn't even leave his apartment. Goes by the alias Usagi. Oh, rabbit. <laughs> if you're going to look for him, you'll need to know that. Okay, so that's new. That person didn't say that last time I was here. I think it might be because I won the tournament there last time. Um... So I'm wondering if now if I go back to the apartments, if that guy will let me in? If I, like, know his name? Hey, Usagi, you bitch. Keep the code word. You're lucky I know Morse, punk, so what do you want? Hacking? I have no idea what you're talking about, punk. I'm just a neat playing video games. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, punk. I'm just a neat playing video games. <laughs> Stop beeping. Listen, if you're really that insistent, then at first I want you to do something for me. Go to the scaffolds and get me some mech parts. Two pieces will be enough. <laughs> I'll hear what you have to say if you can do that. <laughs> I've got the mech pieces. They're just inside my uh, bank. I need to go get them out. Uh, there was an item storage I could access somewhere near here, right? My horns are too small. Hello, Cash. Hoi hoi. Don't need that. We're keeping all of that. Don't need things. Don't need this. Nope. Nope. Uh, again, yeah, everything else here can stay. Okay, so now I just need to find my mech parts. That explains why there were so many mech parts in this area. Like, there were so many just lying on the floor. And it's also a place where you can just straight up buy them. You have a mech pass. Stand still while I scan you, punk. Okay, you're clear. <laughs> you're greeting me like I wasn't here before you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were. <laughs> in fact, you were the person who redeemed first. I should have remembered. I just, I forgot you were here. I'm sorry. You were kind of quiet. <laughs> hey, dude. A robot punk, huh? Now that's rare. I'll hear your request for now. Beep aloud, be fast, I'm busy. I wanna go to the rooftops. <laughs> you know what that do says, right? The, 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 the city you're under lockdown, right? I can cover my tracks, but you're definitely gonna be a call if you go up there. You still wanna do it. <laughs> you might even be crazier than me. Luckily for you, I've already tinkered with a system of control flip, so I only need to do some tweaks and rerun the script. Even better, since you're a robot, I can just alter your interfacing program and give you all lift access. <laughs> It'll pose no risk to me. Okay, turn your back to me and hold a second, will ya? Yeah, we're just gonna let this hacker hack our system. That's fine. It's done. You're now a walking hacking device. <laughs> No need to thank me, by the way, punk. You got tail, don't under any circumstances to mention my name. Got it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Speaking of tail, we're going down the hole. Fuck dealing with that robot. Okay, so where am I in relation to places? The lift, one near. Can I get through, please? Sir. Oh my god. Did you seriously chance? <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Okay, let's fast travel to Rain City from within Rain City. Because um, <laughs> apparently that robot is like really good at being a roadblock. Like absolutely amazing at it. 
That guy understood the assignment. There's an elevator. That's the one I was trying to find. And then just need to go this way. Oh, hello there. Ah, shit. Another way through, though. Oh, free mech part. Gimme. That's a lot of defense drones. I'm sure they would have a lot to say if I spoke to them, but I don't kind of want to. Uh... And here's the elevator? No, this is the bar. We need a uh, door next door. And... Oh, hey, dude. Careful, low. Be careful. The rooftops are being monitored. Hide in the dark. To don't let them spot you. Oh! Hello! <laughs> There's a, uh... A flying robot monster. Where to next? It's like a dragonfly with a TV for a head. Heck yeah, it does. Fucking really cool design, actually. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Security boss, I've seen you. Retreat for now. Bruh. Oh, it's gonna be one of those encounters. loot back there and I kind of want to go back and check. Don't spot me, cannot see me, I am not here. Nah, there's no loot here. I came back here for nothing. Easy. <laughs> What's in the box? It's a trap. Let's just use a couple of returns. Um, what? Imagine getting the first action and then taking more damage than your opponent. Or I guess more percentage damage than your opponent because we actually took roughly the same. So an assembler. Gain power up two at the start of battle and increase attack power. Heck yes. Oh. Go check that direction first. It's be any. And you're clearly blocking something. And doing a very good job of it. <laughs> now, nah, this feels like progress. I want to go back. <laughs> Anomaly is approaching Echelon. Execute elevator security protocol. Terminate. Oh, 
Oh shit, they got glitched geckles. And they function exactly like glitched geckles. That's terrifying. Yeah, so the first time you knock out a glitched enemy, it will uh, kill you. Joe Gekun. Hold on, is this a Digimon reference? I haven't seen that enemy before. Oh, that's a lot of damage. a lot of healing as well. Okay, so we're going to do self-healing. And set up a decoy. It's Snorklat! <laughs> Hello, Tyrek! Koi hoi! We just heal ourselves. And this guy's got a shit ton of defense. There we go. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Unfortunately, uh, Kokobo didn't get any experience points, but everyone else got XP leveled up, so that's fine. Failed to terminate. Sending alert to Dev Null. Not found. Mechanical overrides. Okay, so. Kobo is currently deaded. Let's heal them back up a little bit. The Kobo doesn't like ramen. Heck. Like fish. Huh. You love punishment. <laughs> Be careful, or someone might send you to pun jail. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that thing is fucking cool. I like that thing. We've seen these before, they're in the uh, desert, the uh, weird, like, Gatling gun uh, scorpion things. Busy cooking. Yeah. Okay, so I need to hook them with something. Go with a metal claw because it'll give me defense up even though it doesn't do damage to them. Never mind, it doesn't. Okay, I misunderstood how that's move works. Yeah, ghosts have like the whole thing of getting a buff at the start of their turn, which well, is, I think it's at the end of their turn actually, where First thing it hits them will do no damage. A quick save whilst we're here, I might as well. And oh, I did not mean to go into combat with this guy, but I guess we're fighting them now. Yep. Yeah. Because eel actually No, this eel doesn't do a lot of damage to me. Yeah, I resist it because I'm an earth type and they're an electric type. I had a moment just like, oh shit, they're gonna do a bunch of damage to me because I'm water. But no, uh, cobbles are not water types. <laughs> oh shit, is Vixie max level? Uh, party. Yeah, they're max level. I don't have a way to really uh, increase their max levels, so I might as well reboot them. Yeah, let's reboot them. 
Iridium from Borderlands 2. How tasty. Heck yes. Where's a good image of a Iridium ingot? Um, those are maps. Yes, that will do. And then... There we go. So yeah, immediately on aesthetics, I think this rock is going to be getting a, uh, like a, a, B, a, a B rating already. It's purple. It's shiny. It's glowy. It's probably radioactive. Not that I have an issue with that, but... <laughs> And yeah, the first for the mineral composition of this thing, I have no idea. I don't think it's ever actually said in the game what it's made out of. It's just iridium, whatever iridium is. Um, guessing it's some kind of exotic mi mineral or something. Uh, but probably very good to eat. I'm imagining grape flavored, like atomic grape. If that was a flavor, this is atomic grape flavor. <laughs> and on the plus side, you get magic powers if you eat enough of it. So yeah. Probably bumping that B rating for just appearance up to like an A. I think it was, uh, I was thinking blueberry flavoured. I guess. Maybe. Maybe. Or bubblegum. It may half your life though. Shit, my lifespan is going to go down from 11 days to like 6. <laughs> Okay, let's spend some potential points. So, the tech skills, if I remember correctly, are mostly magical. Magical mixed. And. Only got XP items. Interesting. No wonder you've not been like performing as well as you could do. I've still got you on farming equipment instead of actually something useful. <laughs> Yeah, I should fix that at some point. Not right now, because we're currently level 1, we need to boost them back up, but at some point we need to fix that. Also, hello, digital. Hi, hi. How are you? Yeah, let's get ourselves up a bunch of magical, and we also need some agility to be able to use our abilities properly. I don't think that learning stuff is really that important, but the the uh, dodge increase is just good. Game says just chatting, by the way. Yeah, uh, I was trying something out. So a uh, friend of mine suggested about uh, using just chatting for more obscure games that don't get too much traction on Twitch, because it just helps to, like get noticed a little bit more. And I want to see like how that would work out for something like this, because the viewer base of this game is like 40 people. <laughs> it's not that many people. Okay, I think that's good for now. We'll level them up and increase that a bit further. Oh, what's over here? Balcony. A 2D platform section? There's nothing here except a weird head. Damn, that's an odd head. Nobody's gonna get that reference. <laughs> But I had to make it. <laughs> make sure you stay ahead of the game. <laughs> hey dude, it's the highest level of a city and the highest level of Echelon. Here we have nothing to worry about. Deus protects us, the Ascended Ones, with the heavenly algorithm. Simzard! If it's a reference to a YouTuber, I think I get it. It is a reference to a YouTuber. Teleport pad. Eric, it's a bit unsafe to visit the scaffolds now, but I need some black market services. Stop. Are you in the, uh, one of the service bots? Go down there and get something from me. Yeah, sure. Eric, I'll send. Uh, I'll embed an encrypted message inside your floaty. Go to the trader. They'll know what I want. 
Use that telepad to get there quickly. Don't get caught by the guards. Damn it, I just tried to cough. I muted my microphone. Accidentally unmuted it. Coughed and then muted again and went to talk. I was like, why is my microphone turned off? Bruh. Okay, so telepad takes me here. Oh, that's a, such a useful shortcut. Okay, so the drones that were here before... No, they're still here. Hello! Echo coat. Oh, fuck yeah. Give me one of those. Uh, which shield? Don't really need that. I will, however, take some more data dust. Another magic wand. Another katana. I'll take another flower sword. Where's this raider? Raider? Are you the traitor? about you? I'll take a couple ultra recoveries. These things are useful. Life chip. Fuck yeah. Uh, mech parts. Don't really... I could do with another dampening net. I gave away my last one. Take one of these. If he chips, I'll take all of these. Shootable data device. Oh. Sure. Okay, so this is going on to Big C. And this is going on to Big C. And this is going on to Big C. Yeah, we'll use this on uh, Kokobo because of Kobobol. They need uh, extra weight for one of their attacks. Other than that, I think we're good for now. Where is this trader? Do the yellow alert signal. Marketplace activities are normal, but your advice to proceed with caution, citizen. Yeah, I'm a citizen. I'm not a robot at all. Ignore the beeping noises I make and the weird whirring noises of my joints. Uh, I am totally a flesh and blood human being. Are you a trader? No. I'm a trader. Kid, what? You got something for me, okay? Let me see it. Right, aha. Echo and Lizard Guy sent you to get his package, right. I'll transfer it to your Floaty as a hidden file. Stand by, okay? Okay, the package is embedded. Go back to Echo and tell him to use his private key to unlock it. Also, dude, you know Echo is currently unlocked? Come with me. I'll take you straight there. <laughs> Push him all the way there. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. How does one exactly beep beep like a sheep? Okay, let's teleport back and give this guy his hello there. Hey, spit it out already. Where are the materials you promised us? Boy, or whatever you are. Hey, help me out. I'll give you a reward if you trash these no, thrash these hooligans. Serious? Kid, get out of here. A business with this clown only. Stubborn, are you? You'll regret this, I'm telling you. Just a Lumi. I can't attack yet, okay. Why did I get the first attack? You do it right before you ram someone off the road. <laughs> that was weird. They force switched me. Anyway, uh, 
Ah, shit, they got one more thing. It's fine. It's not doing that much damage. And finish them off with a Mystic Wave. Ah, shit, they got more? I thought that was it. I would have held onto a lot more of my uh, moves if I hadn't known that. That is so much TP. Vince gave me like all of the TP. Hold on, I need to like swap to someone. You. And now we're trying to heal tank. Um, I need to set this guy on fire. We're good. Level up. Level up. Level up. They're still going. <laughs> Look at them go. Damn, they got 14 levels out of that. 68 potential. That was one short of being very nice. <laughs> realize they're like yeah that they leveled up enough to evolve instantly <laughs> we're taking we're no match for this kid but we'll be back for you lizard hey dude what was that uh also can i heal please Eric, there's thugs <laughs> i'll report back all this back to deuce deuce deus <laughs> he'll be banished for sure <laughs> Now, where were we? Did you get the package? Good, I'll download it immediately. Since you were very helpful here. This is your bet. Like thousand, nice. Take this as well, I realise I don't really need a fairy dust. That is all I need from you. You may leave my abode now. Fucking fairy dust? <laughs> I know that's really useful for crafting. I don't really know how to craft yet, but I know it's useful for crafting. Good. A new emerging trend on the net. Hammer monsters, which were previously thought to have been created by the use some user, well, it's becoming clear they are a byproduct of the net itself. Wait a minute, a second. You have a Tama here in pseudo physical form. I'm trading Tama engrams on the net. I'm planning to trade, say, a Sparkrow for a Bunnery. I would. I don't have one in my party right now, but I would absolutely love to trade one of my spare Sparkrows. Um, was it you? Or you? <laughs> okay, what did I just get? Because I don't actually know what this thing is. I view it's... I view it's stats? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Pass rabbit, element electric, an energetic digital bunny, tamer, these plants, ignores all armor and ethereal status effects. This thing is anti tank, like just straight up, like if you're playing a tank, fuck you, doesn't matter. It's so good actually. I'm not really sure how they would fit into my party, but like, fucking claw. Has a chance of collecting the foe's drop item. Oh my god, I need to use this against Cardis. I really need to use this against Cardis. <laughs> and you evolved from something as well. What level are you? 14, okay. <laughs> I 
Sure, so we'll keep them in our party. Uh, they can just leech some XP off of me, I guess, in the back and stuff. We'll use farming cardies and get more booster packs. However, we have a shit ton of uh, XP. Should be good. <laughs> to next, came out of bear. It has raspberries and vegan vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Slightly jelly, like uh <laughs> That sounds really good. I might have some ice cream later after I have uh, my uh, dinner. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm doing for dinner yet, but I've got some Ben and Jerry's. Uh, which ones did I have? I can't remember. I can't remember what kind of Ben and Jerry's it is, but it's one of the vegan ones. It's got like marshmallow stuff on the top, and it's like uh, things that look like Rolos stuck on the top of it. Uh, like the round chocolates, and it's got like caramel and stuff, and like toffee bits, and uh, inside of it I think it's caramel flavoured ice cream or something like that. It's so good. And it's like a uh, marshmallow mixed in with it as well, but like in like a way where it's swirled. It's so good. It's not fish food. Uh, fish food is one I used to really like before I found out I was lactose intolerant and it was making me ill. Uh, but like it's it's kind of like fish food, but it's not fish food. Let's see if I can find it actually. Oh! Ultra Foster, hello! Uh... I found it. It's non dairy out of this world. Think, can you? No, actually, this isn't it. It's very similar to out of this world, but it looks very. It's slightly different. But Alice, where is your dress? I'm about to reinstall VTuber Plus, I hope. E! Honestly, I would probably recommend. Binyan over VTuber Plus, uh, depending. Like, VTuber Plus is good and all, but I've honestly been having a lot more, like, uh, positive feeling from using Binyan. Also, hello, Flareon. Hoi hoi. Yeah, I honestly can't find anything else that fits the description of what I'm looking for, so it's honestly probably uh, this one, which I'm just about to show on screen. Uh, can you link me to the one you use? Uh, it's Vinyan by Savidriel, you can find it on itch.io. I'll send it a link in a second, I'm just uh, trying to find... Let go. Can I just download as like, not an image? Download is a .avif file. What the fuck is an .avif file? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, apparently what I need to do is I need to open up paint.net, I need to copy the picture of the .avif file and ice cream, and then I need to shove it onto my desktop, and then I can show you guys, because it's being weird. There we go. That's not what I just clicked on. That's not what I just clicked on. There we go. This. That's the ice cream. <laughs> and there's the link uh, for it, uh, Ultra Foster. But yeah, it, I don't know if it's exactly this one, but it's very similar to this one, so it probably is this one. But like, places near me that stock vegan Ben and Jerry's, honestly, do not stock, like, any of them hardly. This was, like, uh, really uh, good for when they like, started stocking this, because it's just, it's just something different. Because normally you can only get um, a fudge one, or there's another one, I can't remember. But yeah, it's, there's basically, like, three you can get, and that's one of them. Oh, there's also, like, a uh, dark forest, the forest berries flavoured one. I can't remember the actual name of it, but 
So I guess it's four, but that one, well, fourth one is really sickly. I do really like it, but it's like, I probably have like small bits of it. <laughs> I usually mix like, like a little bit of it with some vanilla, just like uh, dull it out a little bit. It also is very rarely stocked, so yeah, getting hold of vegan Ben and Jerry's is really hard. We're concerned with the uptick of crime on the lower levels, so we requested elevated security. I can't progress chat. Uh, there we go. Majority of ziggurats resources are dedicated to the new program. Started by the virtuals, so it took more votes than usual. But in the end, Deus listened to us. After all, who is going to listen to if not for the most prized citizens? But yeah, the good thing with Bean Yarn is it's got something similar to uh, Unreal Engine's blu uh, blueprint system for coding in your uh, interactions and everything. There's some example diagrams as well, and uh, if you go onto the Discord for it, on Subitrial's official Discord, there's a bunch of people sharing their own blueprints that you can just like uh, copy and shove into your own thing. So like my hand tracking, for example, uses a someone else's blueprints. And also I had like a gamepad tracker as well. I stopped using it though, but like that was using that system too. I downloaded it from someone else who made it. And also my ability to do this is using the uh, blueprint system. Hello. <laughs> They also do uh, Twitch streams sometimes where they show people how to use it and like new stuff they're working on and things. A visitor, since lower levels have been blocked off, you must have come here from another part of Echelon. Say, have you heard of DMEs or dreams? I've been called on a net. I'm talking about digital memory engram. Associative memory arrays serializes data that can be replayed and immersively experienced by our consciousness. Oh, uh, you mean brain dancers. Yeah, I know about BDs. Sleeping pod program can be adjusted in a way that enables sentience to relive those stored memories. I no longer have to leave the safety of this block and I can experience anything fully as if I were living it. Even memories in which the dreamer does such very dangerous things. Even those in which the dreamer dies. Holy shit. Asleep in his bed. <laughs> You're well rested. <laughs> this says, hey, my bed is uh, being modified so that I can uh, play these brain dances and like uh, experience dangerous uh, experiences without uh, endangering myself in person. And I'm just like, cool, dude. I'm gonna sleep in your bed a second, don't mind me. <laughs> We're concerned with the uptick of crime. I already like, seen this. Oh yeah, the other useful thing with Bean Yarn I forgot to say is entirely standalone. Fuck you, Twitch ads. You know what, I'll type it to chat a second. There we go, okay. <laughs> Metal Boy, finally. We couldn't establish a connection sooner due to some weird interference. Where are you now? Oh wait, this is Hyde! This is our sister! I was like, who is this person? Who is this like weird like hacker dude who's like talking to us? No, it's our sister. You found a locked door? Great, you're in a big hole with white floors? That may be for the place then. We need to create a distraction for us. What? You thought I'd leave you alone in the big city? I come there too. Meanwhile, Lucas is going to hack into the doors. There's a physical AI interface at the top. Go there and break things. Or something. You just need to keep our thing busy while we do this. Okay. We need to fight this head. We are Deus. Citizen ID is not present. State your request. Could we ask Deus to grant your next uh, terminal access? Yes. Nexus terminal access is restricted under Ziggurat protocol. You will now be subjected to the sentient identification scan. Stand by. Sentient identification unsuccessful. You are an anomaly. Stand by. Received higher processing command. Anomaly must be destroyed at once. Initiate pulse beam. Just casually fighting the face. Okay. Oh god, we didn't heal our party beforehand. I did just save, so it's fine. But oh god. 
I made a mistake. We've done oopsie. Actually, this is fine. We just heal using... Oh god, everyone's... Everyone's really hurt. You know what? Uh, I can't switch. Shit. I was gonna say I could switch to Vixel. Uh, Vixel could just heal everybody, but I cannot do that. Okay, so we're now going to switch to Vixel. And Vixel is going to... Phoenix Flame gives bonus damage against... Okay, this is actually really good. Team recovery. Uh, with Phoenix Flame just to get the rest of the health up. No play with puns, they only make the face stronger. What is this game exactly? Okay, so... Uh, TLDR, we're a robot who looks like a human. Very bizarre concept in this world that shouldn't exist. We act very human-like but we're mute, and we interact with people through Morse code or writing on a uh, notepad we were given. Uh, we were separated from our sister after our birth slash creation, and we're now like trying to reconnect with them and uh, like, uh, solve some mysteries in the world, uh, because we got separated because our parents got killed in some like robot uh, uh, assault at one point. And there's a thing called the Great Compression, which is going to co basically corrupt and destroy stuff because the world is basically just like there's too much shit in it. We need to compress it so we can shove more shit in it because of too much stuff. And we're trying to figure out a way to stop that. Um, and we've basically been just going around solving people's random problems, uh, investigating why Tamas exist, because like these animals are supposed to only exist in the internet. Turns out we might actually also be in the internet. And yeah. <laughs> Also, there's a whole thing of like uh, sentience and uh, constructs, and the constructs being like considered to be lesser than the sentience. And sentience are like your humans, lizard people, rat people, etc. It is pretty complicated, it is fun, but yeah. Okay, I really need to heal myself. Damn it! That's a lot of anti-heal, but this is fine. Oh, they just healed. Why did they heal? Can't use that anymore. Fuck it. They almost one hit killed them. Okay, no, I do not want to surrender. What I want to do is use this because I want to make sure that Vixel gets XP from this and it will gain XP if they're not awake, so... I wasn't even that much XP. Your circuit, nice. Bullet barrage. System failure. Unusual power drain detected. Switching off all interfacing procedures. Shit, I think we murdered Deus. Um. <laughs> oh, we're blocked. Okay. Hey, metal boy. Good job. I don't know what you just did, but sneaking in here was super easy. That door leads to the server room. The terminal you're looking for is probably inside. Don't take too long though. I don't know how much time we have until se 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 security system reboots. Step one, kill rat. Step two, step three, kill god. <laughs> Every RPG ever. Heck yes. Just haven't interacted with the breeding system. 
thief. Something's happening. Auto link complete. Thief com program. Identity found. Opening secure channel. You're not creepy at all. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> A communication channel. Here. Oh, oh. This can only mean one thing. Seek. Does my appearance frighten you? Forgive me. This is the form I occupy in this unallocated vast. My avatar has been stripped away. Is this our dad? Did he get sent to fucking... Okay, so the unallocated vast is purgatory. People who step out of line and were noticed by the uh, uh, the virtuals. The virtuals are basically the gods of the world. They're the people who are outside of the universe, essentially interacting with everything. They, anyone who's uh, caught trying to interfere with the, uh, the world to try to fix it and uncalls the uh, pressure up to stop is sent to the vast. The vast is essentially the recycling bin. He's been slowly being degrading there. That's why he looks like shit. <laughs> I can forgive him for that, but like, oh geez, he looks terrifying. <laughs> You were unofficialized at the time, but others used to call me Papa. Now I am nameless. I am null. Ah, yes, yes, the compression. I'll tell you what you need to know, but seek. Don't you want to know what you are? Oh ho ho. Seek, I created you and hide to be one of a kind of mechanical, indistinguishable from sentience, with on par intelligence and a human emotion. The artifact that you carry with you is called an anode heart. It's a component that gives you sentience, life. It is not powered by electricity. It is. It is itself a life force. I was like, what is that letter? It's covered up by the arrow. In truth, we could never have created something like that on our own. Indeed, we had a blueprint left behind. By the... the or as they were written now, the ancestors. Their disturbance, the seek, this channel will be terminated soon. But even this short meeting has brought me immense joy. Before we get interrupted again, I'll tell you what you need to know about compression. Once initiated, a world compression can only be stopped by injecting a data virus into the Axis mainframe, the digital pillar of this world. I began developing a virus back on segment base, together with I believe I was captured and banished before I could finish it. The dormant code presently resides within your matrix. Now, inside this layer, the mainframe can only be accessed from the debug chamber located atop Mount Nexus. Of course we need to go to Mount Nexus. But there's a giant fuck of robot there, and I can't get through him. Mount Nexus is guarded by an indestructible program tied to the very core of the system. You don't say. <laughs> It is possible to disable the guard program for a short period of time using a forged key, but you will have to. Losing signal. I will transfer the rest of the details to your. Seek. Farewell. My child. Will. Hey, we're out of time. The security system is online. We need to get out of here now! Do you want to get us scrapped? They has already blocked all the main exits. Now we have no choice but to jump down. Well, I can just call the bird and fast travel. We'll be fine. We're made of metal, remember? Come on, let's get out of here. You okay, metal boy? Hi. Hello, can you hear me? Lucas, good timing. Need an exit, now. Roger that. Head straight for the balcony. There's a firefly waiting for you. Okay, let's go. Okay, so balcony is down here. Are you ready to hop on this thing? This place will be soaring with bots any minute now. Luna, I've uploaded the Firefly driving program to your matrix, and once you hop on, it'll transfer the, transfer the route you need to take. Alright, that's all we need. Let's do this. Metal, metal boy, I can see bots in our tail. Oh god, it turned into a fucking bullet hell. Don't crash us into a wall. <laughs> a 
of all of the things for this game to do, it's like bullet hell was not on the list. Can this thing shoot? Oh yeah, there's a laser gun. Show this stupid AI who's boss. Ah, I can't just hold it down, I need to actively press it. Okay. Oh god, I'm taking damage. See our landing dock, we're almost in the clear. Hey, you done staring down into the distance? We need to slide down this drain pipe. Lucas said this water will carry us all the way to the marsh. You better be right, because this is kind of a dead end. Hey, grab my hand, okay? It'd be bad if we got separated before we got out of here. It's not because I like you or anything, Barker. <laughs> oh, are you okay? Hey, don't short circuit on me, damn it. Hey, good to see you too. You've somehow made it back to the hideout in one piece, but now what? What did Papa tell you? Transfer the details to your quest log. Let me see. Okay, Mount Nexus, three parts of a key, some forger guy, a virus. What the? So he gets himself banished and now we have to pick up all his slack? Well, it's not like we have a, a left of a choice. 96,000 shinies! <laughs> I'll help you stop this compression thing. First, it looks like he needs to find uh, three key parts and take both uh, parts to the forger guy. So while you gather those key parts, Lucas and I will try to find out more about the virus and the forger, alright? I'll call you as soon as we discover something, okay? I forgot this was a thing. I wonder if I could beat my high score. <laughs> Because I already beat all the bear high scores. Damn it! Also, it's really weird that this is not the first uh, the, the video game I've played recently that had a bullet hell area with an arcade system using a training game for the uh, inevitable part where you're forced to use it. Hyper tap, we'll love it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I feel like I could get underneath that uh, rock and uh, destroy it before it went down too far, but nope. Yeah, easily beat my high score by massive amounts. <laughs> these poor kids here have just got like, these low high scores and just I keep smashing the high score every time I come here. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this. The gift machine you can like uh, package your tamas to send to other people via a code that they then put into their game and they get it. Yeah, I heard um, you and Hyde went on a mission, a very important mission. That's you got out there in one piece. Okay, so where do we go to now? Find the inventor. The one who will know how to complete the virus. Virtuals oversee all of the world's data. Okay. So I still need to get the... Uh, I forgot what it's called, but like the thing here. We still need to get this thing from Memory Meadow, and I still haven't worked out how to get to it. I 
have a feeling that it's inside of the 2D section. But I don't really know. Oh yeah, and that guy still wants us to find more of the uh, statues, but we've only found one of them so far. Paradis. Oh yeah, that thing. Didn't intend to fight this thing, but I guess we're fighting it now. Somewhere in Memory Meadow, there should be a collectible for us. I remember now, uh, we had to find the uh, Fork Man, and we got the Fork Man here, and he should have let us be able to get into like, an extra area. Wasn't up here. I think it's over this way. Yeah, just past here. Hey, we have an emergency. I would ask you to get a fork man, but I have no idea where he went. I know where the fork man is. Like over here somewhere is him earlier and we told him to go to here. You know where Forkman is? That's where miners. I doubt they would be there. I, I can try there. Because I found the Forkman in the tunnels and I told him that there was an issue happening here and he said he was going to go investigate but I guess he hasn't. Fork man. Why did you not leave? I told you to go there and he's back here. That's why I haven't progressed the quest because he never fucking left. But dude, you got a job to do. Why are you still here? an emergency at Memory Meadow. Right, right away. I'll head over there right away. Oh, I see. I need to keep pushing him because he keeps getting distracted. Dude. What? Okay, fine. Memory Meadow. Yes, I'm going. So I'll get, get some cheese. Then we can hop onto my bike and... Still there, huh? All right, all right. I'm going for real now. For really real he's real. Definitely going, okay? Bye. <laughs> Where did you go? I can almost guarantee that you did not go where you said you were going to go. Heck, you're really a nuisance, aren't you? Prettiest light bulb I will turn troublesome that awaits me. Oh, trouble awaits me. Alas, there is only one forkman to go around. Hey, this better be a real emergency, kid, or I'll be very angry. Uh, okay. Let's go now. You better hold on tight. We're warping. Right, this is one heck of an emergency. In fact, I'll say it's a disaster. You don't say. My fork had no effect on that glitch, partly because I can't even get near. It keeps blowing me away. You could even say it's impressive. Oh. Okay. <laughs> huh. 
can't attack it. <laughs> this thing isn't intimidating at all. What the fuck is that? Go for a moon crystal blast. I'm really glad I did do the glitch effect of just killing me instead of uh, like dying itself. Ooh wee, you really saved our tails this time, kid. Yeah, thanks. Forkman was kind of useless. Sorry you had to run around to get him. Oh right, take this as a sign of our gratitude. We use it as a CPU tweaking tool, but I heard it can also be used to upgrade a Tamar. Oh, an accelerator! Thanks again, pal. Feel free to stick around. I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, I'll also take that thing. What even was that? From where I stood, it looked like one of those ectos started glitching out and warping. I can't be sure. You have some sort of embedded debugging program, don't you, kid? I've never seen anything like that. Usually we need some mechanics help to debug a sedgeful, but we're lucky you got here. Yeah, imagine a mechanic being here, or a mechanica. <laughs> this is the main memory bank of this area in layer 1, uh, so that, what that means is that important kernel files are stored here. And that means uh, just important stuff, okay? <laughs> That was spooky. As soon as the glitching started happening, the boss rushed us all out of here. Kid, thanks for saving the situation. Listen, it wasn't my fault. My fork was useless against that thing. Sure, buddy. Um, absolutely was not your fault. I'm sure that getting here, like, when it started, it sounds like the idling around at the tunnels and not coming when people there was an emergency. Yeah, that, that totally helped. <laughs> Concentration is dire. I wonder if you can do anything or are we simply all doomed? I fixed it already, dude. It's fine. Okay, so we've got all of those components now. Ella Cass want to start some shit, but that's fine. map. So we finished this area. Unfortunately, in a second, so we finished Rain City, which means that if we go back to the desert, the train should now be running. Head back to the desert and see if that's actually the case. Because uh, the train in the desert was saying that it wasn't currently running because the rain city was on lockdown. We have aquarium gravel. I guess we'll find this dragon. Can, can I? Can I have some aquarium gravel? <laughs> you want crunch? <laughs> Is max level. Uh, do a reboot. It became small. Uh, your moves were all fine. We've all got level 10. That's uh, where your potential. Mostly a magical attacker now, aren't you? Magical, brutal, magical, 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 brutal, brutal. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, if you some physical, a lot of magical, enough to get seventy. Bit of this, and then last points can go into HP. Get 
see if I can remember how to get back to the desert. I think it's this way. Bonk. That's a sedge fault. Um... We need a better debugging tool to be able to get through that. Okay, that's good. Uh... Maybe the desert was this way? This looks familiar. Yeah, Mount Peripheral. I think it was this way. This takes us to this boss, but we can't fight that guy yet. Maybe actually I could use the uh, this system. Maybe this gets better. Peripheral cliff scorching sands. Yeah, so if we go this way, we could now be in scorching sands. Heck yes, okay. And then the train was up this way. Station doesn't seem to be working properly. I'm here for the PSE Express train. I am a conductor. I can summon it for you, but I will need to know your strength before allowing you to proceed. Okay. Yeah, I can fight you. Uh, battle level 17. That's not that bad. Got a gunner rat. That's easy enough to take down a moon crystal beam. Or I could use a moon earth beam and still have some uh, power left over. Just in case he's got a third thing. Will absolutely one hit kill. So many levels. And a level of not of but above ev 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 an evolution. <laughs> Good. Prove your strength, but lands beyond the sands are even more dangerous. Be careful. Trust me when you're ready to go. Hey, let's also have a look at Ignafir because he's probably got a lot of potential. For A vast field of nothingness separates this place and Snowlands. The only way to get there is to use the sub channel. The dive terminal somewhere to the north that goes to Snowlands. If you don't know how to use it, well, I heard a person from Memory Meadow Melo. Dark ASM. Oh shit, it's a sedge faulting enemy. Okay. I thought this could be a friend, but that is not a friend. Uh, that is a monster and it should be destroyed ASAP. I survived? I mean, we're stressing the, the, the definition of survive there a little bit, but. I survived a sedge vaulted creature sedge vaulting, basically. Doing to me. 
I don't recognize that move. What did they just do? They just ate all of the usages of aura recovery and done a shit ton of damage. When I said this place was more dangerous, I was expecting like maybe like higher level monsters or something. Not this. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> what is this? I can build up ethereal as well. Okay, it's dead. That thing is terrifying. I know to look out for those next time. A glyph was generated. Got a free glyph? Oh, also that reminds me, I should probably go to a inventory storage at some point and start uh, working on Vixel's uh, equipment because they've still got crap on them. Unga, this trip back to Cliffs is taking forever. If only I knew how to dash. Oh, there's so many such faulting enemies here. What the fuck is that thing? Hello? Okay, so we're fighting two things at once. So all of these things are such full thing. That's cool and good. Um, oh fuck. <laughs> that was an interrupt. And I've eaten all of my uses of that. Uh, that's fine. I can do this and heal back. And die anyway, that's okay. <laughs> Resume. Can explain. You know, can we explain again? Let's just do shit as a team healing. What is this thing? Arrow ASM. The level is huge. One dodge. No. <laughs> yeah, they were not joking when they said this place was more dangerous. Um, why did you just heal? That's illegal. Surrender. I got this, I can do this. They're starting to take recoil damage, so they've overextended some of their moves. And we 
we're good. And Kobobo is on max level. Beam. They have a star. Click on the star or use a shovel. What color? We unlocked a shiny. I didn't know there were shinies in this game. <laughs> but yeah, we got a shiny. What the fuck is a lunar beam, though? That sounds cool. Cannot miss. Shining. Once per turn. That's a lot of TP. That is so expensive. It also has super high BP. Yeah, we're swapping out this. Points to do anything else. I didn't really reboot them, but I kind of don't want to. They're gonna go back to level one, and this person's basically our main hitter. I don't think I'm gonna increase that. Um, so I just got to 13. Worth it. We need on Vixel is just more HP. Yeah, that'll do. And then a bit more magic, a bit more HP. that isn't sedge faulting. I won't find anyone here. A family used to uh, live here a long time ago, but it's all abandoned. It's a trap. Anarchy disguised as a box. Done attacking bear. Uh, my turn now. <laughs> okay, what does this do? 826 damage. That's what that does. We got a mana core. Okay, yeah, I should really go find a uh, item storage and fix up Vixel's equipment. They could be so much more powerful if I actually built them correctly. Up a trap. Oh, Falhu, hello, you're new. <laughs> Falhu, like mushroom? I will gift you mushroom. Not interested. Okay, do you maybe like pyrite? Interested. Um, how about ramen? Everyone likes ramen. Fuck you. Meat. You're a bird, you have to like meat, right? What about fish? You like fish. Seaweed. No, oh, bone. Are you interested in bone? Oh. I don't have any seeds. Okay, I guess I'm now absolutely attacked with tons of seeds, so... I guess we just have to get lucky and maybe they want to join us. Unless, do you like... Dark Leaf? Oh. Okay, we're just gonna kill it. Uh... 1700 damage. Do you want to join our party? Nah. Fair enough. What the heck is a root stuff? Let go. Increases strength by 25 and magic by 15.
Okay, so we're going to unequip these. Actually, never mind. I know exactly who would have the root stuff. Uh, this thing. Uh, Ignafir. Ignafir should have the runic stuff because they're getting a bunch of attack power from leveling up. They don't actually use attack power for their main damage output. So if I drop the attack core, and then I go to memory and then give stuff to Ignafir. And then I will give Magic Wand to Vixel, as well as that Mana Core we found. That's only Magic Resistance. I guess I could give them Magic Resistance. They are a little bit squishy. Gaining uh, Armor is cool, I guess. We could put this back on for the time being. about all we can do with them at the moment. I guess technically the assembler could also be useful. They don't have any use for machine power up because they don't really do machine damage. But it's fair I guess. Oh hello there. Okay, we now only need to find one more of those, and I don't remember where the last one is, but there's one more of those somewhere in the world. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Program tracking complete. We are the Virtuals. Ufero, layer 3 authority, we have been watching you. And we are curious about you, and your hack into Nexus Terminal has put this layer on yellow alert. Others, however, have virtually no interest in your escapades. Prognosis calculations have summarized that you pose no real threat, however, out of curiosity we will test you. One third of power bandwidth shall suffice. 999 power, and 10 ethereal. Okay. Hit me, I guess. Oh, that was a lot of healing. Um, this is fine. It's no longer fine. Where's our last recovery drive gone? Okay, so we need to start healing in our back lines. So if we pull up a aura recovery and a second aura recovery, can't oh, only once per turn. Fair enough. Phoenix Flame should then heal up Kobobo in the back line a bit better. My god. Is this su supposed to be lost uh, boss fight? Because like this feels a little bit too high level for me. Curious, prognosis was correct. You have no true means to disarray the systems of this moment. So there was a ch What happens if you beat that boss fight then? We'll continue to watch you. Oh, they full healed me when I got out of- I wasted that uh, recovery for nothing. Virus disc. Friends foe from surviving fatal hits. Da 
that's massive because there's some specific enemies that have things like um uh, like the sedge fault effect and also nine lives and a few other effects like that Oh, so this is completely separated from the bottom area. And we made it to a snowy place. And it has Lego. This really is a Digimon game. <laughs> Greetings, you seem a bit lost. Our factory is near the northeast, but it's closed off to visitors. Then Northbridge is where you want to go. Follow this path up north, far as long as you can. Then head east. I want to go west. Into this large void. Holy shit, there's nothing here. Um... There's a friend! Hold on, I want to fight all of these at once. Shovel? There's a wolf with a shovel! some kind of snowball status condition. Uh, we know that this actually does more damage than it seems that it would. They just absorbed it so that didn't actually thing. We give them so much TP by using our stronger move. It's finally happened! We've become too powerful for our own good! Run while you still can! <laughs> and there's Solon Numsters! Hi hi! Also, Yoss is a puppy. Maybe one of them wants to join our party? Maybe? Winterfur. Okay, so they didn't want to join our party. But we did get an item from them that makes them more likely to want to join our party. So I'm going to fight these four at the same time. And we're going to turn a couple of times and then we're going to drop... Where is it? Where's this winter fur? There it is. Prince of Freeze status. Interesting. Okay, normally the items that they drop are the item that they want for, uh, like, becoming friends, but I guess not. In which case, would you like a bone? Are you kidding? You added a, a dog enemy, and you made them not like bones. You're really gonna do this to me, devs. Like, he's right there. You have this good boy, and he doesn't like bones. What is the point? What's the point of putting a dog in your game if you can't pet it? <laughs> it's more like a fox to me. I mean, its name is Shovel. What's up, dogs don't- shouldn't- uh, the eat bones. Bad for the teeth. It is. However, this isn't a real dog. It's the idea of a dog. Like both, like uh, literally, as it's in a video game, and also in canon because it's a digital entity inside of an internet world. <laughs> and I feel like the concept that a dog would like to eat bones should be enough to carry the fact that it should like bones. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it, let's just overkill this thing. I want to see how much damage I can do. 755, nice. I 
we could do this twice before we start taking recoil. This move is so broken. Frosted. Oh, so when you're frozen, you waste your moves. I understand how that works now. Weird. Okay, I guess I don't actually understand how freeze works as a mechanic, so we're going to swap out to you. And you're going to... The heart strike. Make sure that we can actually do damage with Phoenix Flame just to get the heal off. Your toy shovel. That's the item we were looking for. Okay, so that frozen fur was actually just useful as an upgrade item and I should have kept it. Hello. The little teddy bear. Hatcher. I kind of love him. Drop anything interesting? Heart patch. Guessing that's... Yeah, it's a gift item. What was that up there? Oh, the Sedge 14 ones of those guys. Please not fight me. Damn it. <laughs> okay, you. Uh, you are absolutely going to join my party because I'm going to give you two of these. I'm then going to swap over to you, who have a plus 10% chance to get someone to join my party. And you just got a Phoenix Flame. Yes! Friend acquired. He's not in my party because I don't have any space, so he's gone to the box, but friend acquired. Guess we're fighting one of these guys if we want to or not. Uh, can't swim out. Turn twice. Like these things. Not interested. Okay, so only for babies like those. That's useful to know. That's a lot of damage. Um, unfortunately for you, I can heal myself and then heal myself a little bit more if I just do this. Be gone. <laughs> that move is so good. I'm a shield. Increase magic power by 15%, but increase your magic defense by 30%. That's actually really good. God, I'm gonna get lost in this place. This is massive. Why is this place so big? And there's like barely any landmarks. Like there are some here and there. Go there. Do I don't want to fight you just yet. Um, I'll save you for later. I'm fairly certain they would just absolutely decimate my party. Actually, yeah, no, we're not fully healed. I could be healed. Do I have any f like bow? But that's good enough. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go fight them. Can I fish here? No. It feels like it should have been a fishing spot. Oh, Wuna, you made it to Snowlands. This is actually my favorite sector of the island so far. I call it uh, the loss of new Tamo and I tra trade up my team. What do you say? Have we, have we have a rematch? Sweet, let's fire up. Okay, so you're just opening with that thing. So let's start off with a water ring. Let's set up some support on myself and then Phoenix Strike. It can heal itself, okay. Uh, aura Recovery. Extra Recovery. 
what a ring. Up that defense even further and finish you off with another one of these. And at this point we're ridiculously tanky. Like this is gonna do a lot of damage, but we're just gonna heal all of it back. was not much damage. Okay, another aura recovery. Heart strike. And a healing bite. <laughs> We're almost fully healing every single... Oh shit, yeah it's 8 o'clock. I need to finish up soon. Okay, we'll finish this fight and then we will uh, go save. Thanks for letting me know. I just wasn't paying attention to the time. I was having too much fun. <laughs> and I guess Phoenix Flame and ignore the massive amounts of recall will take. It didn't really damage. Okay, I might be in a small amount of danger. Yeah, okay. Enjoying the vibe. I'm glad. Okay, this one's gonna be easy. So we go Metal Claws, Metal Claws, Mystic Wave, and then we finish off with setting up a return just in case it somehow survives this. Luna Beam. GG! We learned heart patch from them. Oh, I could have got heart patch from them on the fucking. Um... Ah, that would have been really useful on Vixel. I should have rest them. I didn't have the. No, that was my fault. I didn't have the chance to rest them. I didn't have any res resurrection items on me. It's such a natural at this. I'm envious. <laughs> Runa, actually, I need to. I want to ask you something. There's one place in this island I haven't beat yet. It's an old town next to Binary Forest. Oh, you know about it? Colonel Dump. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so you're actually looking for new residents? That's so cool, I'm interested in visiting it. At the very least, I'm not sure how long I'll stick around, but hey, anyway, let's exchange cards. We've unlocked a new area in Colonel Dump. Finally! Wait, 20 recruits? I thought I was 25. Hell, you some people, I always complete my Tamadex. I believe the last time I needed to be how to hide in Mount Nexus. If someone managed to get the complete Dex, I'd love to see it. Okay. Sure, so let's fast travel to Colonel Dump. We can't fast travel like that, there's no fast travel point, we have to do this thing. And why do you have such faulting creatures in your No, it's fine. Those were saplings all along. There was never any nightmare monsters hiding inside of that bear ranch. They were breeding totally normal tamers. That was entirely a normal interaction with that farm. <laughs> we're going to ignore that and carry on. Okay. Um, this is open. I just want to see what's beyond this because like, I haven't been able to see this yet. So there's crabs, there's bananas. Accidentally initiating a combat against the crab. Fine, they're only level 9, they die really quickly. Thank you. I still need to fix it though, there's like a couple like issues with like clipping and stuff near the, near the waist. I've been saying it for like ages and I still haven't got around to it. Okay, so there's a switched area there. Where does this go to? Ripple Cliffs. Looking sounds Colonel Dump. Okay. So is this now just like a fast travel to bear, I guess? I've already got this cave. What's in the cave? We'll come back to that. I don't know what that is. Clipping you say like right now. Yeah, like right now. We'll investigate what is in that cave later. But for the moment, though, I need to uh, quit out the game because we're going to go raid somebody.
because I need to finish up for the day. I need to go do some cooking. But this has been really fun. We've been back on Monday, May. I current from busy on Monday. Uh, I'm having some friends over over the weekend, and uh, we're going to be playing some, like board games and stuff. And I don't remember if they're going to be around on Monday or not. Uh, but like, yeah. Uh, let's look here. Who's currently live? Who we can go and raid? There is. This unicorn overlord. Oh, it's this. It's a tactical role playing game. I saw this before. Yeah, let's go raid them. Uh, we're gonna raid uh, Rinalo, who's currently playing a, a TTRPG. Not TTRPG, a TRPG. Wrong one. It's not a tabletop, it's a tactical. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for joining me for stream. I'm glad you all had fun. I had a lot of fun as well. But yeah, uh, we'll be back on Monday with some uh, Cyber Sleuth at 6pm GMT, and I may be doing an afternoon stream. I want to get back and do afternoon streams for doing art streams, because I normally do art streams like the earlier, and then I'll have like, a break and do like a proper stream in the evening. Uh, though I, didn't, I had one plan for the day, but I wasn't able to do it because I had an appointment I had to get to, and I, just, I completely forgot about it when I said I was going to do a stream uh, this afternoon yesterday, but eh, it happens. Yeah, good luck, have fun. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I'm trying to change my camera so I can say hi properly. Or oh, hi, bye. Ah, that's the other thing. Bye.